A Brazilian gospel singer loved by so many, uh, just a, a wonderful anointed singer, has now died suddenly at the age of 30. We're going to get into all the details here about what happened to Pedro Henrique in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, it's kind of my only option. In a concert performance on December 13th, Pedro Henrique was performing. This is somebody who is a major figure in gospel music, especially there in Brazil. He is loved by so many. He was invited to a special event to perform. And during the middle of the performance, this is when Pedro collapsed onto the stage. And if this sounds familiar to you, like a familiar theme and pattern, yeah, it, it should be because this is a trend that we have been seeing now for really the last three years. And sadly, it has continued here. Uh, every attempt was made here to revive Pedro, but it was unsuccessful. He ended up dying right there at the scene in the middle of his performance, and it was determined that the cause of his death was a heart attack. I'll remind you again, this is a healthy 30-year-old that dropped here on stage, and he is not the first by any means. We have seen numerous athletes where this has happened to, and also many other singers, just like Pedro, that have, you know, right in the middle of their performance, they've just dropped right there on stage. Now, you could probably use your imagination and figure out, you know, what the potential cause for the heart attack was. I don't need to get into all of that because we've seen this so much now. Pedro's record label, Tota Music, released a statement on his tragic passing, expressing their deep sympathies and uh, prayers going out to his family. Now, the entire thing was captured on video. I will put that link in the description for those that would like to check that out. Again, he's right in the middle of performing his song. Great, again, great voice, which you'll see here on the clip. And then he just drops to the stage, just like that. Pedro is survived by his wife in there. And this was the really sad part of this, that a two-month-old daughter named Zoe, who's now going to grow up and is never going to know her father or have any memory of him whatsoever. That is extremely sad. And, you know, the prayer that this family is going to need in light of what's taken place here is is it's going to be a lot for them to have to get through. Uh, so be in prayer for them uh, as uh, this disturbing trend, unfortunately, continues. Again, I will put that link in the description if you would like to see how it all went down. I encourage everybody uh, to please keep Pedro, Enrique, his family, and you know everybody that worked closely with him all in your prayers as they navigate this uh, just very sad event that took place. And I, I welcome your thoughts as well. You can leave them down below in the comment section if you have any nice words that you would like to leave for Pedro uh, and uh, the rest of his family. What I want to do right now is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope, because we could all use that, right? Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. You know, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And for Pedro Enrique, somebody who loved Jesus with all of his heart, his family can now have the faith to know that he is now in the presence of his Savior. He is no longer suffering, and now he is using his singing talents and performing right in front of the king. And so there will be a reunion with him and his family one day. But you want that same assurance that no matter how you leave the world, that you are going to be with the Lord for all of eternity. So this is a prayer that you could do in your own words. I'll give you the steps you need. The first thing you want to do, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, 
which means to turn from sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the Word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask Him to forgive you, He'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says He doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I will put that link for you in the description. Our prayer is going out to the entire family of Pedro Enrique. For God to be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.